everybody, my name is Mason Everett. I am a second year veterinary student at the Texas A&M College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. And today I'm going to show y'all how to restrain for a jugular vein blood draw. So just so we're all clear about where the jugular vein is, it's gonna be running on either side of the neck right in this region. So that's the area we want to exaggerate for our blood draw. To begin with, we are going to go ahead and put the noose leash over our puppy's head and pull it tight. Assuming that they are standing, we need to get them into a lying position. So I will go ahead and secure the head with my right hand, and then with my left hand, I can apply pressure that causes them to sit down. Once they're sitting down, again, we need to get them into a lying position. I can use my left hand to grab both limbs, and I'll pull them forward while also applying pressure with my body, and then making sure that their sternum is in contact with the table. So like I said, I'm going to still maintain control of these limbs with my left hand. And then with my right hand, we can now focus on um, getting their head into a favorable position to access that jugular vein. So I can take my right hand, come back, cup the muzzle underneath. At this point, I can go ahead and gently wrap my fingers around the muzzle. And I want to make sure that I'm not covering their entire chest with my hand. So I can come back a little bit, and then when I pull up, gently, I will elevate their head and make sure that there's access to that area where we want to get to that jugular vein. Once here, I'm still controlling the front limbs with my left hand. I can advance them forward over the edge of the table. And this is going to allow that blood drawer optimal access to that jugular vein on either side, whichever side they want. And that's how you do a restraint for a jugular vein blood draw.